Hane. Welcome to the final press conference for the Showtime Championship Boxing Triple Header this Saturday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Presented by Premier Boxing Champions and highlighted with the Heavyweight Championship of the World. Um, this is a terrific card for top to bottom. Tickets for the event are available through Ticketmaster.com, BarclaysCenter.com, um, at the Barclays Center box office, and uh, they can also be purchased by calling 1 800 745 3000. Um, I love this show. I love what's off TV. It's a terrific heavyweight fight with Dominic Brazil and Eric Molina. That'll be an eliminator for the WBC five division world champion, number two in the world, pound for pound, and on almost every list. Amanda Serrano uh, is on the undercard. There's a terrific competitive battle from an undefeated kid from Long Island, Titus Williams, against an undefeated kid from Brooklyn, Chris Colbert, which is a sensational local fight. Um, the, the card is, is truly loaded uh, with talent and, and with local stars. The comeback of Long Island's Shawnee Monaghan, it's a, it's a terrific card. And then we get to television where there are three significant fights. Nothing gets bigger than the defense of America's only heavyweight champion and, and only heavyweight championship. Deontay Wilder defending the title against Berman Stavern, the only man who's been unable to knock out his professional career. Uh, and the mandatory challenger of the WBC. Um, the, the card on TV opens with a terrific matchup. Uh, Mr. Lipinitz uh, over here has his hands full with Akira on the, on the Kanga. Akira. Akira. Okay, I had to think of my Japanese name. Akira Kanga. Um, in, in what should be a very competitive match for the world belt. Um, one of Brooklyn's stars, one of boxing's biggest stars, is, I think this is his home away from home, his boxing home away from home. Um, he's fought a lot of huge fights and had great efforts at the Barclays Center. Um, Showtime Sean Porter defending against the guy that's a real deserving, uh, I'll call him a challenger in this case, because Sean is a champion with or without a belt. Um, Adrian Granados is, is as honest a fighter as you could ever find. He gives 120%. Um, this is a guy that's going to make for a great, a, a great, great fight. So it, it's, this is a terrific card. I want to bring up first to man, most responsible for bringing this to you. Um, it's his dollars that have provided the best live boxing on premium cable for years at this point. Um, I, I don't think there's any question at the moment that Showtime Sports is the leader of televised boxing. Stephen Espinosa. Thanks, Lou. This weekend's telecast will be the second weekend of heavyweight title fights on Showtime. Um, as we all know, Deontay and, and Berman faced each other back in 2015, and while Deontay took home a unanimous decision and the title, um, neither fighter went home happy. You know, Deontay was impressive, but he didn't get the knockout. So Berman Stavern represents the only blemish on an otherwise perfect knockout streak. For Berman, there was a nagging belief that he wasn't at his best that night. And ever since that fight in January 2015, Berman has been asking for a rematch to anyone and everyone. Uh, so on Saturday, both men are gonna get their wish. Deontay gets his chance to send a message to the rest of the heavyweight division by knocking out the only man who went 12 rounds with him and Berman gets a second chance at a world title. The first time they fought, everyone saw it as Deontay's toughest opponent. Um, when we polled the media ahead of that first fight, out of 42 members of the media, 22 saw it for Deontay, and 20 predicted it would go Berman's way. So, Mr. Berman is certainly no slouch, certainly hasn't become a worse fighter in between. This is a legitimate, credible, all-action, heavyweight fight with America's only heavyweight champion. Um, having a big heavyweight title fight as the main event is, is a huge attraction and a huge advantage, but it's also a bit of a disadvantage in some ways. Uh, the disadvantage is that it sometimes sucks up all the attention, um, and some really interesting called feature fights can get somewhat overlooked. And there are a bunch on this card, as Lou has already outlined. I'm gonna highlight two of them, the two that are on the Showtime card, because they're 
two excellent co-feature fights. Either one uh, could have been a main event. I know that's a cliche, but it's absolutely true in this case. And either one is of a quality that it would be a main event on any other network. And it's just a testament to the standards of quality we have here and, and what the fighters are willing to do that we were able to put all three of these fights on one card. Uh, Porter versus Granados, we've got a, a top five ranked welterweight in Sean Porter, a top five ranked junior welterweight in Adrian Granados. You've seen these guys, this is an intriguing matchup of two all action fighters. Um, Serbian Lipinitz versus Akihiro Honda for a world title. This, again, another all action fight. If you haven't seen Sergey Lipinets fight, I urge you to turn on TV early, get to the arena early. He is a very entertaining fighter, and this will be a very entertaining fight. Uh, all in all, by the end of this card, Showtime will have done 29 world title fights on Showtime. That's not pay per view. 29 world title fights this year alone. Um, and there aren't many networks that have done 29 fights total and certainly not 29 high quality fights. So it's a salute to these fighters, to Lou, the other promoters we work with, and to the entire staff. We're looking forward to closing the year on a very strong note. Thank you. Brooklyn Boxing is, I think, now a brand, and the Barclays Center, I think, is the preeminent home of boxing on the East Coast of the United States. And that's due to the efforts of, uh, the one, by the way, of the preeminent homes of boxing in the world today. And that's because of the dedication of this man to boxing programming in his buildings. Um, he's a huge boxing fan. He's one of the great supporters of our sport. And it's my pleasure to bring on my friend, Brett Ewermark. Thank you, Lou. So this Saturday will be our last Brooklyn boxing event of the year, and it's been an, an incredible 2017. It started last January with Battle Jack and James DeGale. We then went on in March and hosted the Keith Thurman Danny Garcia fight, which was probably the biggest fight we've ever had at Barclays Center. It, it uh, hit new marks uh, for the venue um, that we hadn't seen prior to that. And then this past summer, obviously, we had the Mikey Garcia Rohner fight. Um, and throughout the year, um, I think the Charlo brothers obviously have become stars and both fought at Barclays Center uh, in 17 as well. So it was a great, great year full of memorable moments. Um, but I couldn't think of a, of a better fight to end this historic year in Brooklyn uh, than to host Deontay Wilder um, um, this Saturday night. Uh, Deontay first came to Brooklyn in 2015. It was the first heavyweight fight in the borough of Brooklyn in 115 years. Um, we're excited to have Deontay back, um, you know, this Saturday. He obviously faced a, com uh, a competitor, perhaps the toughest um, that Deontay has faced, um, and um, that obviously is Berman. So Berman, thank you for coming to Brooklyn and, and welcome to the borough. Uh, I'd also like to give a special welcome back to Sean Porter. Uh, Sean is fighting his third consecutive fight at Barclays Center. Sean, you and Kenny both are part of the Brooklyn Boxing family, so we're thrilled to have you back, so thank you again. Um, Adrian Granados, I know this is your first time in Brooklyn, so welcome to the borough, um, and we, we're excited to have you at Barclays Center. Um, also excited to have Amanda Serrano back, as Lou said. Um, it'll be her fourth time in our ring at Barclays Center. And then there's a couple of newcomers um, also. Um, Sergey Lipinets and Akira Kondo, welcome to Brooklyn. Excited to have you both here too. And then two Brooklynites that'll be fighting, not here I don't think today, but Chris Colbert and Titus Williams. Obviously, for Brooklyn boxing, it's not only about the established stars, but it's also about those future fighters that are making their way up. Uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't thank Lou. Lou, thank you again for being such a great partner and providing us with an incredible year uh, at Barclays Center and then Steven Espinoza. Uh, without Steven, we wouldn't be here. He's done an incredible job building our brand and our business. So, uh, looking forward to having you all out in Brooklyn this Saturday night. It should be a great night, and thank you for coming today. Uh, 
gentlemen, if you see how beautifully this belt is laid out over here, this beautiful case with the minifigs and everything else, um, you'll, you'll, you'll know what the green belt means to Deontay Wilder, what it means to Deontay Wilder and to be the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And um, I think really no BS. The WBC, I believe, is the most prestigious um, belt in the world. It's the most prestigious organization in the world right now, really because of the work of, of Mauricio uh, Suleiman um, in terms of health and safety of fighters, with respect to testing for performance enhancing drugs, um, with respect to acts of charity, with respect to efforts to take care of ex-fighters. Um, there really is no organization that does what the WBC does. Uh, my friend, the president of the WBC, Mauricio Suleiman. Thank you very much for the kind words. All I do is every day try to be like my father. Every single day I wake up and think that I will make proud by the memory of my father. Every night I go to bed hoping that I did accomplish that. This fight is tremendous. Whoever thinks it's not the best championship fight that there can be in the heavyweight division is wrong. This fight has a lot of meaning to me personally. Bermain Stevern became the heavyweight champion right after my father passed away. So it was my father's last mandated fight. But at the same time, my father made a promise to Deontay Wilder, who was a mandatory challenger, and that promise was to have the next fight without any intervening fight. I love Don King. He screamed at me like nobody else has ever done. He wanted a voluntary defense, and we stuck to my father's promise. What we saw, 2015, was a tremendous bout. Only one fighter has gone 12 rounds with a champion. And his dream, his two years of working, is finally over. We'll see what happens in two nights. I'd like to thank Ludi Vela. I'd like to thank Don King for working together. This path to get to Saturday night had many bumpy roads, but through working and unity, he was able to make it happen. Uh, Mr. Espinosa, Showtime, without a doubt, is the champion of networks. I'm very happy, very pleased that uh, they have put together an instant replay system, which will be in effect. And we need to step up to the 20, 21st century and use technology to make sure that justice prevails in the ring. The Barclays Center is a new mecca of boxing. Mr. Yormar, congratulations. I'm very, very happy to be always sitting here at the most beautiful arena that boxing has. Um, I don't know, this is the first time ever that I grow a mustache. We have joined, joined Movember, which is Men's Health Awareness for the month of November. And I challenge everybody. I challenge you to keep growing that mustache, and you to keep growing the mustache, and anybody in the audience, we have to join and fight the battle that we all can get into one day or another. There's some survivors of cancer, like Shelly Finkel, who is here, a hero, royal champion, and we're all together in this. There have been 23 heavyweight champions in the history of WBC. Of course, Muhammad Ali, Fraser, Foreman, Holmes, Tyson, Holyfield, Lennox Lewis, Vitali Klitschko. And then they came Stever and Wilder. Some of the night they're gonna prove who is of that stature, of that level. I'm sure it's gonna be a great fight and I'd like to congratulate Lou for including female boxing in the cards, to congratulate Lou for giving Porter Granados to the crowd. It's going to be one of the greatest fights in welterweight division. And I am sure that the motivation of the new baby coming is special for our champion Wilder. The WBC, Lou, I'm sorry, I think one more minute. The WBC took on clean boxing and we have walked and we have run 
and we're very proud of what we have been doing with the anti-doping, out of competition and in competition testing. Such measure has made these fighters suffer. Deontay has lost three title defenses to doping problems. Steven lost a fight. The day of the fight, he was notified he could not fight. But we stand proud because we're changing the, the world of boxing. There's nothing more sacred than the safety of the boxers and the justice. So we will continue fighting and I'm very proud of the fighters and the promoters who stand tall for clean boxing. Finally, I want to present our champion, Deontay Wilder, a special plaque commemorating this event because this is a world championship fight that brings the best out of the champion and the mandatory challenger. I hope you take this with care and that you like it. So, I invite everybody to do and put boxing as tall as we are in a safe, in a friendly and unity manner because you are both gentlemen. All the camps are gentlemen and I'm very happy to see a great event coming back to New York. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to comment on, on something Marisa said in a second, but before I do that, and, and this is uh, going to get me into trouble, I probably um, will get told off and maybe silenced for the future and not ever be given a ticket to another concert ever again for the rest of my life if I call it to help me get hooked up. But there's a woman who's really responsible for a lot of what goes on behind the scenes on all these shites, fights we do in Brooklyn, the fights we do on Showtime with Premier Boxing Champions, with a lot of the fighters in this room right now. Um, she's one of the unsung heroes um, and, and really a person that's indispensable to all of us and we love her and it's her birthday. So, um, Sylvia Brown Owens, please come up here, Sylvia. Here, so. Where are you? Okay. Get up here. There's so many of the fighters who fight, you know, uh, on our show. So many of the people that fight for us, they know what this woman does, what she thinks of all of them. Um, she's a great friend. She's one of the best in the biz. She's an unbelievable professional and proud that she's my buddy, Sylvia Brown Owens. said um, you, you know you can't look when, when people are doing the right thing you can't regret it and, and, and you can't look at it and say doing the right thing hurt us you know what I mean like there needs to be a clean boxing program guys shouldn't be allowed to cheat they're putting other people's lives at risk and by the way if Povetkin thought he would beat this man to my right he wouldn't have cheated. And that's the same thing that tends to be true of everybody else who goes out there and breaks the rules. They don't do it because they're confident in themselves. They don't do it because they're great champions. They don't do it because they're fair athletes. They don't. They don't. And, you know, people think it's not easy all the time to go on social media, no matter how confident you are in your own ability, no matter how much you know you do the right thing consistently. It's not an easy thing to read about yourself getting criticized because of stuff that's no fault of your own, but because of circumstance. 
because you have a defining flight cancel when you're sitting on a runway, because you have another defining flight cancel, because uh, in, you're, you're awakened by the news that another piece of paper came in, you know, adverse from VADA, you know? It's not your fault when you go into a fight, you know, on short notice after having a, you know, one of those big fights canceled, then you go into a ring and you suffer two severe injuries that require surgery. It's not your fault, you know? You're also not hiding from people that you're saying, come here, let's make it. You're not hiding from people when you make them offers. You know? So this is, this is a real heavyweight championship fight on Saturday night. This is a real heavyweight champion. And by the way, this is the man I know is going to be unified heavyweight champion. And I think a lot of other people that are smart know that too. Um, and I also know that this man to my left is dangerous. He's really dangerous. The big, big guy, he's strong, he can punch. He don't give a shit right now. This is friggin' Christmas for Remains to Burn right now. It ain't Halloween week, you know? He, he's coming here, what does he have to lose? He can walk away the heavyweight champion in the world and, and Mr. King, I'm sorry guys. You know, Mr. King has, has, has a chance to walk away with the heavyweight championship of the world. It's a serious business on Saturday night at Barclays Center. And something the fans should want to see because it's gonna be a great night of boxing from top to bottom, and the heavyweight championship of the world is at risk in the main event. And this is America's only heavyweight champion. This is America's best heavyweight, and, and this is a guy that's going to unify the belts and prove to everyone what he's able to do when he's given a chance. Because what's happened so far is not the fault of anyone, it's circumstance, it's life. If fights get canceled because we're doing the right thing, then so be it. Um, this young man came all the way from, from Japan. He's uh, making his U.S. debut. Um, I pronounced his name earlier incorrectly because I was thinking of my good friend Akihiro Honda, who's like the king of boxing in Japan, everyone knows Mr. Honda. Um, but Akihiro Kondo um, is an accomplished fighter, uh, 29 and 6 with 16 KOs, and he's here to try to win a world championship, a vacant world championship, and he's got his hands full with a young man on my right named Sergey Lipinitz, and I'll talk about him in a minute. But um, I'd like to bring up, accompanied by his advisor, Warren, who will do the translation, um, Akihiro Kondo. I'm going to do my best to win for all my fans back in Japan. Uh, take the title belt, the championship belt, back home. And I appreciate your support. Thank you. Um, the young man he'll be fighting is 12 and 0 with 10 KOs. Fights out of Beverly Hills, California. Was born in Kazakhstan. Um, I know this guy really well. I, I, I promoted his own fights and I promoted a number of his fights. And he is a beast. He is a beast. He's 12 and 0 with 10 KOs. He's got extraordinary power. Um, you can hurt him, but he just keeps coming, and um, he will hurt you at some point. He's done it in almost every fight he's ever had. Um, this guy, uh, I, I think, uh, Mr. Kondo has his hands full. Um, Sergey is, uh, is co-managed co by, uh, by Al Heyman, by Andrew Zaks, and by a man who's going to translate for him, Alex Baseball. Постараемся 
сделать красивый бой, забрать пояс и накрутировать, конечно. Спасибо. First of all, he wants to uh, say how much he appreciates the, uh, the work that Al Haim put in and uh, made that fight possible. New developer, his promotion. Uh, like he said, he promoted a couple of times before, and uh, it's always first class. Uh, his trainers, his managers, it's, it's a dream come true because a 13th fight was a pedigree that he has. It, it's not easy and it's not simple. Uh, he had to uh, go through different adversities to get to that point. Now he's here, he wants to show a great fight. He wants to strive for a knockout. He can't help himself, he wants to do that. And uh, everybody's going to be enjoying that fight, he promised. Yes. Celeste Chowman's nickname of El Tigre, the tiger. Um, and he fights like a tiger, meaning the guy's a warrior. What can you say about this guy? And um, Adrian Broner knows that this guy's a warrior. And um, ever since that fight, all uh, Adrian Bernados has been doing has been using social media, using the media, talking to every writer he can talk to, and doing every radio show and blog out there, you know, saying, somebody give me a shot, I'm a badass, and I deserve another opportunity. So you figure the guy that had given that opportunity to be a guy who's one of the biggest badasses and gentlemen in the entire sport, um, Showtime <coughs> Sean Porter. Uh, first, I want to bring up uh, the pride of, uh, of the Chicago area, the pride of Illinois. Um, coming off a split decision loss to Adrian Broner, um, Adrian El Tigre did not run out of Mr. DeBello, um, hello everybody, good afternoon. Um, yeah, no, I'm uh, very grateful to be here. I'm uh, happy to be here, get this opportunity with a Showtime Show Porter. I appreciate the opportunity and I thank him. Uh, thank him and his father. Um, we definitely got a great fight coming up uh, this Saturday. Um, you know, it's a tremendous uh, opportunity for myself and uh, I'm definitely coming in for the win. I'm not here to lay down. It's going to be an action-packed fight, you know, uh, we definitely both have style-friendly um, styles, or fan-friendly styles. So, you know, um, you know, may the best man win, and uh, may God uh, protect us both. Um, para mi gente latino, para la gente de, de sangre indio, uh, les quiero saludar. Este, estoy bien preparado para esta pelea. Va a ser una pelea uh, con mucha pasión, con mucha acción. Este, venimos bien preparados, este, gracias a Dios por esta oportunidad y este, si Dios quiere vamos a ganar y voy a regresar este título a mi, a mi casa y pues para, para mi gente y para los latinos. Este, gracias por tenerme. Thank you very much for having me and everybody have a good one. Thank you, Adrian. Um, to bring up his son, um, I'm going to introduce his son, I'm going to bring up a guy that's really uh, one of the great trainers in boxing, also with his son, a great ambassador for the sport, a guy that, that loved the amateurs and, and, and gave a lot of his, his life dedicated to the sport. Uh, one of the reasons why his, his son is the father he is. So to introduce his son, Kenny Porter. Thank you guys, thank God for being here. Uh, it's great to be back in New York. I love New York. Uh, I love Brooklyn. We love the Barclays. Thank you to Showtime Sports, Lou DiBella, Premier Boxing Champions, Brett. Thank you. They roll out the carpet for us, and it just feels like we're coming home, especially when we go to Gleason's. Uh, it's great to be here with everybody and see all the faces that we enjoy seeing when we get here. It gives us that momentum we need and that energy we need to go in on Saturday night. I have interacted with this young man over here before I met him a couple times. And uh, he walked away from me and I just thought to myself, man, I like that kid. And when I saw him again, I wanted to talk to him again because he has that type of personality and he's brought up that way that makes me feel like, you know what, that's the kind of person my son is. So 
I extend my hand to you because, not just because we're here today, but because you didn't know that, you made that impression on me when we met. And he brought his dad to me, introduced his dad to me, so that was great, you know what I mean? So I'm a father and son, um, you know, fan of the father and son and the relationship that he has with his dad. Your dad here today? He'll be here, he'll be here. Uh, happy birthday to Sylvia. And uh, happy birthday to Sean. Happy birthday to me. We all have birthdays. It's great to be here, guys. Saturday night is going to be a great fight. Our training camp was not a training camp. It was just a continuation of what we always do. So we had a uh, tremendous preparation for this fight. Mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, nutritionally. He is in the best shape of his life. Um, we'll leave nothing to uh, any chance on Saturday night. You guys are going to get a great show. Come on out and enjoy it. Thank you. Showtime, Sean Boy. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> What's up, y'all? I'm back. Glad to be back. Um, excited to fight once more before the year is out. I uh, just want to mimic what Lily Bella uh, said and has been able to do is put together uh, another great fight card and I'm um, just very uh, excited and honored to be a part of it. Uh, I'm getting the, the seats warm this time. I'm not going not gonna to close the show for y'all, but I'm going to get it warm. Uh, actually, myself and the T-Gray over here. Uh, two things I'd like to say to you, my man. Nice suit. Nice suit. I thought I looked good this morning when I stepped out of my room and I saw him. I said, man, maybe I should have went with that color scheme. That's a nice suit. Yeah. And I and and I appreciate your 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 your, your respect for me and it goes back to you. And I want to uh, let everybody out there know that the respect you see between him and I, that's what it's supposed to be. That's what boxing is about. It's about getting in the ring and competing. So as always, I respect the man that I'm going up against before we even enter the ring, but even more respect to you because you look good <laughs> and you fight. And that's what we want. We wanted somebody that was gonna come here and fight me. We didn't want somebody that was gonna run around the ring, somebody that was gonna try to play the point system with me, uh, somebody that was gonna come in here and lay down. Uh, we, we're trying to close this, this year out in fantastic form, and the best way we can do that is against Adrian Granados. Everybody, please come on and watch us light up the show and get it ready for Remain Stavern and my good friend over here, Deontay Wilder. God bless y'all. We'll see you in a couple days. I'm a kid, literally, like, uh, something close to approaching 30 years. And, um, you know, whatever you think of this man, you cannot deny his genius. And you cannot deny that Don King in boxing is what P.T. Barnum was to the service. Um, he's not only the most famous person in this room, there is not a street in New York that he could walk down right now if he left this building without being recognized. Um, I'm happy that we've been friends for a number of years now. I like it a lot better that way. Um, but this guy's a cultural icon. I mean, literally. There are Don King characters in I don't know how many novels and how many books and how many plays and how many movies, how many promoters have been, been um, modeled after this guy in, in, in various forms of media. Um, one of the most famous people on the face of the earth, one of the great promoters in the history of boxing, Don King. Thank you. I come with a message today. First of all, I want to thank all these young men that started 
fighting for the crown. And I want to thank uh, Stephen Espinosa at Showtime <clears throat> for presenting him to you. But he has something in store for him on Saturday night that's going to really be a shock. It's going to be the fight of the year. Unquestionably, you know, uh, I want to introduce to uh, Deontay, who I have a lot of love for, uh, Remains to Pink. He's never really met him, you know. And so I want to introduce him to him, you know, and talking to you, the American public and the world at large. It's going to be a fantastic evening of boxing at the Barclay Center. I call up my friend Chuck Dolan and Jim Dolan. I want them to be guests for me at the ringside. You know, hopefully they can make it. And uh, to bear witness to what's coming on with the new with uh, Mr. Yorick here. That's his brother of mine. It's not was, is my dear friend. So, but here's what's going to happen. You're going to have an upset similar to Donald Trump where nobody in the world wanted him to be president. He shocked the world by becoming president against all odds. All right, so now what we're going to have here is a shocking upset. It's going to be for me when he knocks out my dear friend here, Deontay. Now, you know that when he does this, and I want to him to take this into consideration, that um, Deontay will retire. <laughs> That's the his word, but I want to say right now, I want to put in my, my request, when you come out of retirement, come on to see me. <laughs> Cause I don't tell you, he can talk, he's got the gear, his mother, I love his mother, and, uh, and his, my mother was, both of them were born in Alabama, you know what I mean, so I'm in Alabama too, and Alabama, what we should have to understand, and why I want him to be able to carry the mission to friend and for life, is the only state in the union that has legalized white supremacy. They talk about all of the different objects that would divide people around the world, but at least Alabama was honest with it. You know what I mean? They legalized it. And I want him to be one of the men that knocks that barrier down because he's got the guts, he's got the wherewithal, and he's got the glib tongue, he's loquacious, he can express and identify and bring people together as he is doing right now with the Alabamians. So I'm looking forward to that with great excitement. Not only would it be great for Lou, because I think Lou is doing a tremendous job, but it'll be a rubber match. And that rubber match will be something similar to Ali and Fred, and Ali and, and making things happen right down the line, Ali and George Foreman. So it's going to be an exciting time for me to be here on Saturday, and I'm calling up for everybody. And as history has put it and dictated it, we will have a wonderful November to remember. That's what we said when I was working and promoting Donald Trump on November to remember, and it will be remembered from, from here to eternity. You know, the same thing is going to happen here on Saturday at the Barclay Center, when we really crown that center that will have a, a shocking effect around the world, but it will be good because what Lou DeBella said was, if we were doing right, so it's going to be a blow for righteousness because no matter what it costs, whatever it happens, we stand for the right so the fighters should be clean and should be able to deal with each other for the safety for the box. My friend Suleiman is smiling right now. That's the father, not the son. And he's looking down on me right now because he's the one that staged this thing for uh, Deontay. He set that up and we kept his word. And he kept his word with me, so now he just sent me the message. I want y'all to all know this, Tom Harlan, and I want you to put it down. You know what I mean? He sent the message that this is going to be a great thing, and all the angels in heaven will be watching. You know what I mean? When the upset comes, and he retires, but he keeps his word. There's nothing more precious in life than your word. Your money comes, your money goes. You know what I mean? But your word follows you forever. And so, what I know that when he retired, but I just want to put in my thing right now before anybody else starts. When he come out of retirement, you're going to be a Muhammad Ali, you know what I mean? So he had to lose too, you know, in order to get there. So you ain't never lost, so you really can't be an Ali. <laughs> when you lose the whole Saturday night, you can be an Ali. You know what I mean? You know, so it's going to be a fantastic evening of boxing that we're trying to do, and we're going to make it happen. I'm saying hello to my friend uh, de Blasio, the mayor of this great city, and uh, he's going to be out there looking at this fight, trying to find ways and means to justify his re-election. And we are looking forward to that with great excitement, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, I want to say that uh, I'm, I'm honored, I'm very honored to be working with Lou. 
and I think that uh, uh, you know it's something that is there that is honesty and steadfastness, exciting to be able to be with a board of, of the statue of esteem and a Harvard man too. It's uh, it's, 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 it's yes, it's marvelous, and I feel good about it. You know what I mean? So Jose Suleiman, we're gonna be right there for you on that. And to say about his son, I love this son. He's like my son. He calls me Papa, and I call him son. That is. Is the young man that is just up here uh, that is carrying the torch in, in, in Viva Mexico? You know what I mean? It's like a, he's got the Mexican flag right here, and we have the WBC flag. You know, Viva Mexico, Viva Mexico. You know, so the, uh, the, the president of the president of Mexico is the dear friend of mine, Enrique Nia Pieto, and his lovely wife Angela. And so what we're going to do is going to have a great celebration. We got uh, no, Andrea Condo. What's your name? Come on, man. Tell me what it is. <laughs> Andre and Granados, this is really great. So we're going to be going to be carrying, he's going to be carrying the Mrs. Deck back to Mexico to my homeland, Mi Casa Su Casa. You know, it's going to be really great. So I'm looking forward to all of the excitement that's going to be here. And I wanted to be first to introduce the real Vermeer to uh, uh, Deontay Kuala. Because we haven't met that man. Last time we seen the guy similar like that. You know, they say we all look alike. So it's all the same. He didn't really meet the real guy. He had an imposter there. You know what I mean? So, so now he's going to meet the real man on Saturday night. And I'm excited as I can be about it. And, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk to uh, Steve. We're going to make plans for the rubber match. You know, later down the road because you may go to m and or whatever he said. Because whatever he said, that's what he means. You know what I mean? So whatever he decides to do, but I know one thing he has to do is not to forget the big road. Don't forget for when she comes. Don't understand what our problem and our struggle is. And he's right there where at least he's honest where you can confront it. Eyeball to eyeball, step to step, legal white supremacy, you know what I mean? Puts us where he is nothing. The white woman, people of color, and nothing, you know, and it's written down in law, you know what I mean? So there ain't no way you can be no mistaken or playing no mistakes about it, you know what I mean? It's in law, and the poor whites, the poor, the masses. So now that we have it, you can fight it because you can name it and you can identify it. And so what we can do now with this man here is going to be a powerful force in bringing back uh, the Alabama to what it should be, could be, and will be when we find freedom, justice, equality, you know what I mean? Working together works. So I'm excited. You know, so now I want to tell you, I want to introduce this young man that is here. He's a great, great fighter, and he's a he's a he's a he's a man that just just thrills me. Let me get out. I haven't had my hand already. Yes, I do. Here it is. We've been having trouble all down there off, the little, off, of, off of America, the islands, you know what I mean? And having different things that happen. And so the president there wants me to make certain that uh, for me, when he wins, to come and visit and go back home and help them kids, the young people that can come in and be a role model, you know what I mean? And be able to say, you get knocked down, you get back up. You know, you never, never, never quit. You don't give in, you know what I mean? You're in it to win it. You know what I mean? You don't give up, you don't quit, and you're going out there and victory will be yours. So we want to go back and establish that type of feeling in, in, Haiti, in Haiti, and we want to be able to establish the feeling that, you know, never say die attitude. You know, we totally eradicate the word failure out the vocabulary. Setback every now and then. Failure, never. You know what I mean? So we got to be able to deal with that. So I'm going to bring you the new heavyweight champion of the world. And it makes me feel good that I can deal with Chico Finkel to sit there, my dear friend Shelly Finkel. And I want, to, I want this man to come on up here, Bahrain. And, 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 and well, I'm going to do something else, too. Now, we did it for Sylvia. Yesterday was his birthday.
King, my promoter. Uh, I want to thank also my um, my team, my manager Jay Prince, uh, Josh Dubin, uh, everybody else on the team, uh, Sandman Chuck, Dan Warren, my brother House, House, and uh, my father is somewhere. Yeah. So. I ain't done. 
on Saturday, November 4th. I promise you, tonight, I will be two-time every week champion of the world. And none of these gonna stop me. None of y'all gonna stop me. I promise you that. Promise you. You can smile all you want, boy. You won't be smiling. Cause I'm gonna say, I'm gonna see me packing home. Well, that, and I'm gonna take that box to my put in the garbage for you.
We done heard this man talk before. We done heard him say the same things before. But I guess through aggression, I guess through animosity, I guess through jealousy, I guess through pain and suffering, what makes it come out here the most. We done heard it all before. We done heard it all before. And what had happened? So much hatred for them. <laughs> and I always talk about black people. See, that's what's wrong with black people to this day. We hate, it, we hate each other for no reason. For no cause. I everything we've been through and still go through to this day. <laughs> but we still look at each other. Instead of pointing fingers somewhere, we still have so much aggressive upon each other. Nowadays, we pass each other, we can't even say hello, how are you? Have a good day. Yet we mean more, we look them up and down, we stare in their face. If we say anything to a person, they ready to fight. Where have it came to? When we're some of the strongest peoples in the world. See, what I do, I do my talking and my walking in that ring. It ain't no need to do it outside for what? That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about, and that's why we're here. November the 4th, the truth will reveal itself. That's where it counts. All this right here, I can say all the things in the world right now. It ain't really nothing more I can say. I done said it all in front of your faces, social media-wise. And we know one thing, when Deontay Wilder speaks, he mean what he said. I mean what I say. I've been that way ever since I was a little kid. And I'm a man, I mean exactly every word that I say. I don't have to say what I'm going to do, because I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. And that's the most powerful thing that you can have, showing instead of telling. So it's going to be a show and tell. <laughs> I can't wait. Dehydrates it, right? He became the first heavyweight in history that became dehydrated in a fight. <laughs> <laughs> the first. And we're going to give him that. We're going to give him that. We're going to say he, been, he was dehydrated. We heard he was in full health the first time, right? He said if he wasn't training, then he would be worried that he trained his ass already. Right? He was ready. But when he got in that ring, I don't know what happened. But we're going to make sure it don't happen no more, man. Right? Now it's burning, that's right. It's Berman. I call him by his name. That's his name. Berman, we're going to make sure that don't happen no more. <laughs> so much animosity, man. So much hate. I have none against you. I don't have none against you. And I can sit up and smile. I can sit up and tolerate. You can have all the aggression. You can have all the hate. But we're going to make sure it don't happen no more. And I brought you a picture this time. I brought you a gift this time. Bring the gift to him. I brought you with a nice bag and everything too, man. I brought you a gift. So when I whoop you, I don't want to hear no more excuses. Just like my daddy said, I whoop you because I love you. <laughs> and as the words in New York says, I'm a son. I can't wait. This is going to be it. I got plans. And I ain't gonna let nobody stop me from getting in. I ain't gonna let nobody stop me from getting in the way of my plans. I can't wait. I can't wait. I said what I said I was gonna do the first time, and I did that. And the only thing that I didn't do was knock this man out. But this time, it's a different story. It's a different time, and it's a different place. <laughs> it's a different time, <laughs> and it's a different place. This is crazy, you know? That's his gift. That's for him to show you, not me. We deliver. That's it. But this is going to be a electrifying fight, guys. This right here is so meaningful, man. Because that belt ain't going nowhere. I promise you that. I will unify the division. I promise you that. I will be the undefeated, the undisputed, heavyweight champion of the world. I will carry my people's weight. So when they raise my hand in the eye, in the sky, and say, steal, heavyweight champion of the world,
child witness it for yourself. We can say all we want to say, but at the end of the day, November 4th, it, real, it shall reveal itself. It shall reveal itself. I see y'all there. Saturday night, Saturday night, November 4th at the Barclay Center, Showtime Championship Boxing, presented by Premier Boxing Champions. Come on, keep going up going for it. Let's get over there, people come down. It's a great car at the Barclay Center. If you can't be there, watch it at Showtime at 9 p.m. Thank you. Everybody want to know in the back, is Peter your life for or is dehydration? <laughs> huh? What's this? Oh, no, it's not mine. I don't know who's this. Oh, no, it's yours. Oh, no, I don't know who it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Yeah. 